Hey everybody, welcome back to Obscurities in Miniature, and it is time once more for some weekly painting progress. And thankfully, progress was made. Obviously, we've got God Trick here all finished up, or as finished up as I'm going to have him. I cheesed out and just used the cheesy easy base and did not spend anywhere near as much time as I probably should have, but dims to breaks. He is finished though. We're finished enough. And unfortunately, I don't have a new Thankful. I need a Thankful to fight with him, but I do have this Reaper Rat Ogre. And I really like this. It's it's not making any pretense to be anything but what it is. It is just a big Rat Ogre. So if you're in need of Rat Ogres, and I mean, honestly, it, it's Rat Ogre sized. It's like right up there with like a GW Troll in terms of size. So if I put him on a bigger base, yeah. Nice and probably like five, six bucks. Not a bad deal. And speaking of things that look like they belong in a GW kit, there is this barbarian dude from the last Bones Kickstarter. And I mean, obviously, he looks like Archeon. He, he just, I really like this model. He came out decent, I think. I, I obviously could have spent a lot more time with it, but I didn't. And in fact, looking at it now, I just realized I was going to go back over and highlight up his fur there, and I didn't bother for shame. For shame on me. And I was going to do some funky Kirby energy dot type stuff all over his blade. Maybe I still will. But overall, I really like him. I did put him on a regular base. I don't like these scenic bases getting all scratched and scuffed up at the bottom. So, he's a big dude. Got to finish that. Okay. How about we move on to some actual GW proper stuff? So, I finally got these Primaris dudes from Shadow Spear basically done. I probably should go back and put some little scribbles on those purity seals, but you know, otherwise he's he's good. Good enough. Whoa. I have a thing about the lieutenants. I, I have a bad feeling I'm gonna end up buying a bunch of lieutenants of every chapter just because, just for the hell of it. I like the 40 millimeter bases on them. I like the bling. Speaking of bling, there's this dude. Uh is he a captain? He might be a captain. And I, I Skimped out again on the details with the cloak and stuff, but eh, it gets the job done. He's satisfactory enough. You can tell he's supposed to be an ultramarine, and I obviously probably should put a decal of some sort on that shoulder pad of his, but I have a bad habit of that. I just never do. All right, speaking of other big companies, we'll slide on over. This was my first Basilian, and I probably should go back and actually do those in gold rather than I was going to dry brush them in gold. We might still. And I probably should put something on that shield. It's kind of boring. But this is just kind of a test shot. I was thinking either doing him in blue or green, but I, I do like the blue. I think I might just go with that. And he's so tiny compared to the Primaris. Or even Godric. Well, Godric's got a big mohawk, so. Alright, what other little things do I have? I painted some bones ghouls, and I did them as quickly as possible. But I actually kind of like them. I like ghouls, and I really wish GW would get around to making some new ghouls. Besides, obviously, we've got the new ones coming for Warhammer Underworlds, and I'm sure I'm going to pick those up. And they're probably going to have a similar paint scheme to these guys. And ghouls are nice because you can use ghouls like this in just about any setting. And then there's the one with a skull to hurl at his opponents, I guess. Would have liked to have gotten Carry on Empire and all those ghouls, and especially that aberrant ghoul king that came in the set, but that just doesn't seem like it's ever going to happen because all those lousy resellers don't want to sell it for a reasonable price. And we've got another Reaper figure, our Conan-esque barbarian dude. And again, quick, quick paint scheme, no contrast, but you know, just simple colors. I like him. I know there was a similar one in one of the earlier Kickstarters. Painted him too, and I don't know where I put him. So I started another. Then there's this gladiator-esque Roman, Roman legionnaire looking armor lady, I should say. And I really botched the head. I need to go back and do that and maybe actually paint some eyes. And for some reason, this hand is so much lighter than this one. And I went back and tried to fix them both up, and I still can't really get them to match up. So she's just going to have one lighter hand than another. And they're really big. This one's really long. I'll forgive her because she looks cool and you don't see that kind of armor in fantasy settings or on females very often. Another female Reaper figure. I want to say she was from the Dragons Don't Share set. I could be wrong. I like the scenic base. 
Um, she had no real facial detail definition, so I just kind of winged it. And, I mean, from a forward look, you can't really tell her eyes. I tried to actually do the eyelash area, but it just didn't come out that well. I do like her, though. She's obviously a nice generic thief. Tried to bring out some highlighted details. Yeah, whether I succeeded or not, that's up to debate. Finally, I was looking really forward to this model, and she's a barbarian girl that was part of an elf set, I believe, from Bones 4. And I just am not happy with the final results. Part of the problem, I want to say, is the model itself. I put too many splotchy colors there. Uh, just, I had originally wanted to get the metal one, and I kind of regret not doing that now. And I mean, just get it still and just hawk her on eBay or something. Um, she's too hunched over. I've heated her and reheated her at least three times now that I can remember and I might try it again even though she's painted I don't think it's going to damage the paint too much I mean you can pretty much abuse these reaper bones figures after they're sealed so you know why the hey not but I really liked the bows I thought she was going to be more barbarian like but it does seem like she's actually wearing pants and you know it's a bit more geared up than I had originally anticipated so I was thinking like giving her a stone sword and she's just in rags and tattered leathers and stuff like that but eh. I think she's dressed more appropriately now. So, nice little chunk of models of varying sizes. We're not going to talk about how long some of these models have been sitting in front of me in like 85, 90% completion and just needed a little bit of, you know, perseverance to finish. But I am happy they're all done. So, nice little chunk. And hopefully next week I'll have another big batch as well. Fingers crossed. So, once more, if I can bother to get it done, so can you guys. No excuses. Get it painted. I will see you all soon. This is High Lord Tamberlane with a big pile of miniatures saying see you later, and hopefully you guys have the same. Bye-bye.